Hi everyone! Welcome to another edition of Looking at Megan's Fashion. And we're gonna have a couple of good laughs and I think we'll also have another recollection of this Invictus outfit that she wore yet yeah, last year in Germany and which was totally inappropriate and now she's in Whistler and also for the Invictus game so we'll also check out her outfit there and hopefully there's n they're not uh, disrespecting the veterans in any way certainly hopefully not like this jumpsuit did so today's theme will be on jumpsuits worn by Megan so we'll let's start with this one first this Everlane essential go weave jumpsuit it's very interesting how apart from Zara and Max Mira these other brands, I have no idea. I've never heard of these. If you have, you can let me know in the comments. But yeah, I feel like these brands are so new. And where does she hear about these brands? But I'm pretty sure like these three are all pretty expensive. So let's take a look at the first one. I'm just going to go ahead and do a little game of the price is right and you can do the same with me see if you can get a close um a close price range on what you think her outfits actually cost so today let's say that it's 300 okay it's 120 dollars so it's on the more affordable price but of course what do you know she always has to have a black belt so then everyone knows that she's well versed in karate guys this versatile jumpsuit has an elegant double v neckline neck easy wide legs and a removable tie belt to create a more feminine feminine silhouette i mean i personally i do like jumpsuits jumpsuits are really comfortable and makes you feel powerful but at the same time it's not so much fun in games when you need to go um go to the washroom and i'm pretty sure that you feel the same as well this i feel like it would be nice in the summer at a business event let's see where she wore it to okay so this this event I have no recollection of. Well, rec recollection may vary. I like how she tied it to the side and she paired it with these big golden earrings. So, and her hair is up. I think this one looks more formal and I feel like she did get it right because this is gold. So at least your eyes can be attracted to this gold on first sight and then she keeps it clean one solid color all black and you have this sort of eyepiece here so it kind of brings you here i'm not sure if she would want to bring attention to her waist but with the belt i feel like that's what she's doing and then also she's got this uh, long hair look and this tie back look Personally, I feel like having this kind of style would be overall more polished if it's for a formal business event. And this, I don't know, it just, it does make her face look very, very small. But at the same time, you've got the hair, the belt, I have no idea where to look now. So let me know what you think. If you like the left or the right, yeah, this one is interesting. Okay, let's go to the next one. It's the... Gabriella Hurst Vicky jumpsuit. Uh, I feel like this is a copy of, I think, Princess Catherine's um, jumpsuit that she wore to a certain ev event. Was it like a film premiere or something? Because I feel like it's almost the exact same jumpsuit. So, if I haven't heard of this brand, therefore it must be super expensive. Let's go 1000. 
Oh, wow. I thought 1,000 was on the crazy side, but this is $4,790. My goodness. And these, um, these knots are like shaking hands or something. Okay, well, it's definitely a bold silhouette. If this... Oh, then you have to go braless, right? So then... I don't know how you wear this. It feels like it's almost falling off the model. Yeah. I mean, I don't know about you, but if I go around walking like this, and plus, I really... I like to walk fast. So I feel like this is very dangerous territory. This, I think it would slip off so fast. And regardless of whether these two knots are shaking hands, I don't think it's doing much to hold up the top part. And okay, so it's a her sign signature knot detailing is utilized as an upper back detail and frames a cutout on this fitted strapless jumpsuit. A slight flare is seen towards the hem of the pant, allowing for a flattering look. Side invisible zipper. I mean, at this point, if you need to go to the washroom, you don't need a zipper. You just pull the whole thing down. 71% silk, 29% wool, made in New York. Actually, this one's quite cute. I like the bow in front. Yeah, that one's very cute. Okay. There we have it. She wore it at a... I forgot what event this was, but... I think, did she match her nail, her toenail polish to her purse? If she did, I give her credit. That's a nice detail. And her sandals are black. Very interesting choice. The top is sleek, so the main attention is to this white part and also to the purse, which is, I must say, it's not bad. Not bad on her part. I give her credit. Although this purse, I've never seen it before. It looks like a makeup bag that you would put at home. I don't know why it's designed sort of like a plastic cushion. But, you know, this is one of her nicer outfits. I'm not gonna lie. Let's go for the next one. This is the Malia Mills. Montecito, <laughs> of course. Of course it's called Montecito. And it's a jumpsuit in green. So maybe she wore it when she went to Montecito on opening day. Okay, so here we have a belt. And we have another belt at the back. I don't know what's happening here. This is very... This is very all over the place because this looks like some kind of 90s, 2000s look with the belt. And then at the bottom here, everything scrunches up into pants, right? So it's not a dress, which, you know, I think would flatter a silhouette like hers, but it's pants. So it ends up looking like you've got a formal cocktail dress up here and then you've got sports leggings for gym day so this i have no idea in what kind of occasion you're gonna wear it because this clearly says to me it's gym day and then at the top it's friday so let me know if you were gonna wear something like this a montecito jumpsuit god forbid where would you wear this? Because I have no idea. Unless you want to blend in with the picnic. Oh. Okay, so this was when she was outside getting papped. So that's where she wore it. So it is, yeah, it is a, a casual wear. But the way that she paired it is so awkward. This is not tied quite as neatly as I would hope it would be. And then you've got this brown fedora and then this super black, super formal purse along with sandals. So again, 
I have no idea who made this dress because I feel like they had no idea how a person would be wearing this outside. And clearly, as you can see, it's neither casual nor formal. So it doesn't really make a lot of sense as a jumpsuit. So on a scale of, let's say one of five, definitely a one in terms of design. Okay, and this is the Max Mera Studio Tuxedo Look Jumpsuit in Beige. I do like some pieces by Max Mera. It's usually on a splurge day. So this one, it could be anywhere from 195 to 500. Material-wise, it looks- oh, <laughs> okay. I'm surprised again. It's almost $1,000. Hopefully the material makes up for it because it's a satin fabric styled with a tuxedo inspired look. Honestly, it looks like professional bed sheets. I'm not gonna lie. But I'm pretty sure Megan bought it because of this airplane seatbelt. Gotta be because of the belt. Anything with a belt, she'll buy. Okay, and it's got a lapel um, collar, and the straight leg bottoms feature pressed pleat detailing and slant side pockets, whatever that means. Let's see where she wore it. Oh, this was in the Variety magazine. I think it would be nice if up top they could write where she wore it, because right now everything, this is just the top of my head from what I remember. Okay. So this was in her Variety magazine photo shoot and I have no idea what's with this um, weird fever dream haze. The way she stares directly at the camera, I'm not gonna lie, it's a bit chilling. I have goosebumps right now. It's very like Netflix series you stalker-ish feeling. And the tuxedo bed sheets is not helping. I feel like I'm in a fever dream. So let's just look at how the model's wearing it. Yeah, I feel like I would like to wear this at home, but at the same time, a jumpsuit is not very, not very convenient. So I have no idea. Do you wear this outside to a business event? If it's a business event, I feel like it would be better if you added a short sleeve, a white short sleeve, or even like a tank top underneath. So at least you're covering up this part that might be a little bit more modest for a business event. Or if you want to wear this at home, I guess this works as is. Or maybe even like um, a bridal shower. I think a bridal shower would be nice. Yeah, but please, ditch the the airplane seatbelt. Okay, and the last one, which is also probably the most infamous one, is the Zara, Zara belted short jumpsuit in Ecru. And this was the one that she wore to the Invictus Games last year in Germany. And I remember they were saying like, how it was because she wanted to portray herself as a more daily life kind of influencer and so that's why she stooped to the level of Zara. Otherwise, I don't think she would have she would have stooped so low as to buy something from Zara. And plus it's um fifty dollars. Yeah, she must have been confused as to why there weren't extra zeros at the end. But anyway. Design-wise, it's quite simple. It's a short sleeve pointed collar jumpsuit with a front button closure. And you've got these huge pockets and a self belt. Is, is this the professional fashion term? A self belt? It, yeah, of course, of course. Everything she wears has to have a belt. But instead of, yeah, oh. Everything in this screams messy, as Jen would say, because let's 
Uh, I'm trying to think of where to start. Okay, so let's start with color and then we'll talk about the layering. In terms of color, there are three, three colors. There's her hair is black, her sunglasses are black, and her sandals are, I was going to say black, but now upon closer um, inspection, it actually looks a bit like dark green, which is also what Harry's wearing, green. So maybe she was trying to match? Okay, so, well, in any case, these three points are the darkest colors of her fashion outfit, along with the purse, but we can't see the purse, so... I'll try to ignore it for now. And then the second color is this um, cream blazer. And it's not the same white as the inside. This is cream. And then the inside, the romper, is uh, beigey white. It's creamy white, let's say. So you have these three colors going on. And it's just clashing the cream and the white i would say is okay but when you've got these black statements going on and they're so far apart from each other your eyes are just saying should i look at her face should i look at the sunglasses or should i drop down to where there's her long long legs and also these black but not black they're dark green sandals you don't know where to look so that's on a color scheme it looks crazy and then let's talk about the layering because everything looks very very crinkled here the color is not straight it's not um even not like harry's or not like the ladies because the um, the material the material is too soft so that's why it's breaking out in these uneven measures and then let's Forget about the belt. It should have been like the least she could do was tie it behind because when it's in front, you've got these flimsy straps here and you also have the sunglasses dangling. So your focal point is here and there's nothing very interesting about it and your eyes are so oversaturated, let's say. So an outfit as a whole, it doesn't look good. And plus, there's creases here and here maybe it's just the material which i can understand but at the same time you're going to invictus your only event in the entire year that you look forward to so you might as well you know um wear something that's less frankly and that's more modest in respect for the veterans and not parade in front of them let's just say okay so i went on a little bit of a rant as you can tell and i didn't think i would have that much to say about the jumpsuits because let's be honest she only wore five jumpsuits but clearly as you just heard i actually did have a lot to share with you guys so let me know what you guys think um it was quite fun talking about this with you guys and if there's other fashion that you want me to check out first there is still so many that i haven't done i have done the jumpsuits the skirts um and some of what she wore previously in the Invictus games all right and this is her latest outfit which, I'm not going to lie, it looks something like Princess um, Catherine would wear. Yeah, it definitely looks like she's trying to copy her style. And is this her second pair of Invictus boots? It feels like, I think she wore another one as well. So this was her first boots. And then the cowboy boots that we just saw, this is her second pair. And then, I think she also wore today a completely navy blue set. And then the boots were also like beige and orange and yeah, I think I'll find it later. So for now, that's all and looking forward to talking with you guys soon. Bye!